Welcome back to the Christian Meditation Podcast and the Recenter with Christ app, episode 494. Sing praises to our God. A guided Christian meditation on Psalms, chapter 147, 1 through 3. My name is Chaplain Jared, and I do this podcast to help you find more peace in your life by connecting with the true source of peace, Jesus Christ. I do two styles of meditation. This one is a Lectio Divina style meditation, where I'll do different guided sections. But if you want something with more open space and silence, I invite you to check out my freeform styles, which I alternate back and forth. For now, though, sit with me for the next few minutes and dedicate this time to the Lord. Allowing your body to rest and receive from Him. O God, bless us and guide us in our heart and in our mind to be strong, to receive your word and to feel the abiding peace that you offer. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Now in these moments, allow the distractions of the world to fade into the background. We do this not by denying what is around us, but by recognizing its proper context in this moment. The this too shall pass. All things in life have a season. And in this moment, we focus on the Lord. We focus on His goodness. Allow your breathing to slow. Allow the air that comes into your body to gently massage away the tensions that are in you. Breathing them out softly and gently, you feel calm come over you one breath at a time. The Lord has the capacity to calm our hearts and minds, to heal our broken hearts, to bind up our wounds. Through the Lord we can have peace even in the midst of trial and struggle. Place your trust in the Lord, continually placing your trust in the Lord. The Lord sends his peace, sometimes all at once, but very often, little by little, as we place our attention on him and the things that he prioritizes in our life. As you're sitting here, I want you to imagine. You begin to hear a soft melody, a soft song. Healing and calming. And soon it surrounds you.
Now we'll read from Psalm chapter 147. The Psalms were all initially sung as music. This is what it says in verse 1. Praise ye the Lord, for it is good to sing praises unto our God. For it is pleasant, and praise is comely. The Lord doth build up Jerusalem. He gathereth together the outcasts of Israel. He healeth the broken in heart, and bindeth up their wounds. First from the King James Version. Ponder on this scripture now. And now from the NIV. Praise the Lord, how good it is to sing praises to our God, how pleasant and fitting to praise Him. The Lord builds up Jerusalem. He gathers the exiles of Israel. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Continue pondering on this message. Something that is deeply meaningful in my life and the life of so many other people is music. It allows us to communicate in ways that are more profound than words. Perhaps not explicit, but implicit. For this reason, it has been part of Christian worship since the beginning. Singing worship songs is a form of worshiping God. I want you to ponder that for a moment. What role does singing play in your personal worship? 
not just formal organized worship sessions in church or elsewhere, but how do you use sacred music in your personal devotion? Do we sing with gratitude to the Lord? Do we spend time intentionally making a joyful noise to the Lord and singing with our own voices? Some people are discouraged by the fact that they don't know how to sing or their voice isn't exactly angelic. Yet it is our heart's cry that is the most meaningful to the Lord. Regardless of your experience with music or singing, I encourage you to find some sort of music to be able to use in a worship context personally. A few weeks ago, I played with a worship band for the first time. I've sung in choirs many times, but I played an instrument, and it was really special. Not because I did well or, you know, our band was amazing, but the unity of us praising the Lord in song was special. So perhaps seek a way that you can either sing or play music with others. The act of rehearsing music that is challenging has been deeply meaningful for me over the years. And it's a way to show our devotion to demonstrating our best to God. So ponder how you can make music more a part of your day-to-day -day worship. To show your love and gratitude to God. Continue pondering this message. Now join me in prayer. Father, we desire to praise you and desire to give our thanks and gratitude to you. One of the forms we do that with is music. Please bless our hearts to know how to best connect in this way, since many times this is not an intellectual problem to solve. Guide our hearts to music that will connect us to you and help us rehearse it and practice it and perform it in ways that connect us to your Holy Spirit. We love you and want to be ever close to you. And this we say in Jesus' name. Amen. I invite you to continue in prayer now.
And now I invite you to sit in contemplative silence before the Lord, embracing in His joyful spirit. Now the application phase. What have you learned or experienced? Summarize that in your mind and then try to visualize how you can apply this message and improve your world and the world around you. Thank you for joining me today as always. I have a final question and a final thought for you. But feel free to use my website, Christian Meditation Podcast, to find out more information about the podcast or to reach out to me. Additionally, you can use the iOS and Android free app called Recenter with Christ if you want to set sleep timers or do shorter or longer meditations or share the podcast. final question I have for you is this. What is one thing that you can do with music that you are not currently doing or not doing as much of? What's something that you can do more with music? God has given us the ability to love music. Not everyone has the same experience with it, but I believe in some form or fashion it can be a potent aspect to almost everyone's worship. May you find more meaningful ways to connect with the Lord because ultimately it's not just about intellectual facts about God that draw us into relationship with Him, but it's an experience with His Spirit. Many people experience that profoundly through music. So may you do whatever is necessary, whatever is helpful for you to draw closer to the God of heaven who wants a relationship with you, who wants to pour out his love abundantly upon you. And this I say in Jesus' name, amen.